yep. say. Colin trying to get the ball forward. Here's Lico. He wins a free kick in a good area here for Blues. So the last couple of minutes is the first time Lico and both um, and Hogan as well have both got that good quality, I'd say good quality ball, but balls into them where they've dealt with it, they've they've brought the ball down and it's created opportunities. You know, the one from Hogan earlier with Riley McGree running past him and that one there into Lecco, great first touch, opened up the angle and they've had to foul him to, to stop him getting the shot away. So if they can get that hold of that ball and the ball's played into them, it, it, then Riley McGree and Sanchez can play a little bit higher up to to get alongside them and that's where the opportunities all come for Blues but this is a good chance well, Blues players leaving this one to set piece specialist Ivan Sanchez can he produce here I just want to see him hit the target hit the target test the keeper it is Sanchez and finds its way over the bar in the end even for, from that from there 30 yards out you've got to go with pace rather than the intricate little ball into into either corner you know even if that is the target I think the keeper gets on it a bit more pace on it and it's in. Etheridge looking long for Lico. well collected there by Pedersen finds Lico in space could this be a chance does get the shot away it's well blocked and again Blues coming forward this time Harley Dean Straight away in behind Lecco and Hogan, both gambling off the back of the Barnsley back three. Sanchez. Now Clark Salter. Finds Pedersen. Pedersen coming inside, looking for options. Does find Colin, now Sanchez, room to find a cross here for Ivan Sanchez. He cuts inside onto that left foot. Deflected wide, it will be a corner for Blues. Been a real bright start, first five minutes of this second half. You know, counter-attacking football, both sides really going for it. Blues with a switch one side, brilliant play from Pedersen, cutting side out to Sanchez. You know, he cuts inside on his favourite left foot. Well, as you mentioned, Darren, his manager's been very impressed with him. Said so in his press conference before this game. Nice bit of confidence for, for your captain as well, you know, to hear your manager praise you, especially in public. Lico, lovely ball. And this could be a chance for Blues. Collins ball across yeah. and it's in. And Blues have the lead. Scott Hogan. He scored against Barnsley last season and he's got one here today at St Andrews. And it's Blues who make the impact in this one. You could really see you know, the first 10 minutes of the, uh, of the second half, Blues have been really lively. And Lecco in running the attack, a great bit of skill to set it back. You know, pulled back to, uh, to, 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 to Scott Hogan, you know, with that, with that great little bit of movement from him. You know, just pulls off the Barnsley defender and bang, 1-0. That's what you want from your centre forwards. That's that, the one chance that they need and they end up finishing it off. I would say Blues deserve to be 1-0 up, but they've, the, the, the first 10 minutes of this second half, they've been really bright and they've really been threatening and, and probably deserve it on the balance of this second half. Brilliant skill from Jonathan Lico to set up Colin for the cross. And it'll be Ojo on to that header from Alex Mowat. Plays it to Callum Britton. And Pedersen with the challenge, and the referee does give a penalty to Barnsley. Christian Pedersen on Callum Britton, and the visitors will have a chance to get level here. This doesn't look like a penalty to start off with. Ah, that's, that's a soft, soft penalty, that for me. You know, you could see from the first, from the first half when Woodrow went down, that's a soft penalty. You, know, you, you can tell that's, that, that's something that the manager's in stealing into him. You know, if you feel any little nudge in the, in, the, in the box, send yourself down, and that was a soft one. Well, the referee are judging that Pedersen just clipped the legs of Callum Britton there, and Cawley Woodrow will have a chance to get his sixth goal of the season and level the game here at St Andrews. It is Cooley Woodrow, and he does score. Barnsley level. 
You can, see, you can see the goal coming over the last few minutes. You know, Barnsley have had the, definitely had the better of the last five, ten minutes since Blues have scored. And just sort of that little lack of sort of driving to go and get that second goal. You know, second goal would have killed Barnsley off, and now all of a sudden Barnsley are the team that have got their their heads up. And he sent Neil Etheridge the wrong way there. Stripped off now, bring him on for Hogan. Can go that little bit longer, start to threaten the... Uh... Freezer throw, it comes oh. out to Styles. What a finish. Barnsley take a late lead here. Brilliant volley from Callum Styles. Frustration for Blues. It's like Wickham all over again, you know, you get, you get yourselves in front, 1-0 and... As it comes out, it's, it's, to be fair to him, it's a great show. It takes a wicked deflection off of Lecco, you know, off his, he's going about five yards wide. It takes a def deflection when things are not quite going for you. And uh, the shot goes in off, off of Lecco. Barnsley with the free kick. Forcing it into that corner. George Friend collects. Tries to get the ball moving for Blues. Sonjic winning the header. Forward from Terrell to Chase. Oof. Does end up in the gloves of Jack Walton. And that is it. Another sickening defeat at home for Blues. They did take the lead through Scott Hogan. His second goal of the season. But a penalty from Corley Woodrow. And a late strike from Callum Styles means it's defeat once again here. At St Andrews Trillian Trophy Stadium. It's finished here, Blues 1, Barnsley 2.